Just give some answers, because basically at the end of the day, you've got a page here about three or four pages long. Okay, partial report. Sorry. 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 Sorry.
whole series of discussions in Bristol, but also uh, elsewhere, um, where the decimation of public services, public transport services, uh, leaves people in dire isolation uh, and unable, you know, people talk about having to spend three quid to get to a job centre and maybe a couple of hours and then three quid getting back and another couple of hours and so the entire day plus six quid down the drain when they're applying to try and get, you know, a hundred or two hundred or whatever. Um, let alone having to shop, let alone having to get to, and, and the food banks I visited report people walking six, seven miles each way uh, in order to get a hot lunch and a few groceries. So the transport thing is something that I think really needs to be put back onto the agenda. And it's not a satisfactory answer to say, sorry, we privatised it, and so it's up to them to decide whether they're going to run and they do. Uh, because it really is a fundamental community service. Um, I, uh, I, I'll certainly speak to the headmasters of Eton and Carole about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can get to the tonight. Um, I can't make the promise that was requested that I won't use it. Uh, but I take the point that with any word like this, it can be used to cover lots of different things and make the sure I'll be dealing with that. Um, the situation of uh, Jaywick in particular. Uh, I think that uh, it's good that the media was here today. I think that that helps to draw attention to uh, the issues that clearly do exist in Jaywick. Uh, I'm sorry there weren't more specific questions, but the truth is, of course, that I wouldn't have been able to answer those. Uh, and I, have, I probably should finish on that note, but I'm not able to bring solutions to any of the specific problems that you have. But what I think is the bottom line is that everything depends on the basic philosophy of the system. In other words, is there a responsibility on the part of government as human rights yes, to ensure one way or another that no one falls through the cracks, that everyone gets some degree of social justice and is able to live a decent life? Or is it every man and woman for themselves? And I think the answer is pretty straightforward, but I think we tend to have lost sight of that deeper philosophy. And that's what's got to change. And if there was a change in that, then a lot of the issues that are troubling uh, all of you would, I think, look quite different. Uh, but again, I just want to say thanks to Dan, thanks to Unite. Uh, I really enjoyed the Theresa May moment when the, um, <laughs> the poster fell behind me speaking. <laughs> uh, um, and most of all, uh, thanks to you and thanks to the various other organisers of the event. It's been extremely helpful and I hope I can take forward a lot of these issues and see if we can. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Here's the lockers up there. We're going to mark the stuff that's going to be mixing rice as well. That's all because you was coming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them I'll come every week and then that could be done once a week. Can we say a big thank you for that?
and especially to the people who come and spoke, and, and Mike, I like Mike, is, uh, he's the, the, he leads the pensioners uh, army over there in Holland on Sea, so you know how passionately he spoke from there. And all of you, I think you've all been fantastic anyway, so it's tea and coffee, biscuits, and I think there's cakes, I'm not too sure if it's there, but if you want it, it's there, if you want a private conversation, have some people already said they will, would you please uh, take it on from there. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely. Thank you, thank you all. So there you go, that was wonderful. The United Nations in Jarek. Philip, I just hope you watch these films and you know what the people of Jarek really want. And the government, everyone can come together to make everyone equal shine on.